We're here at the Falmouth Harbor boat ramp, one of the nicer boat ramps here on uh, Cape Cod. This boat ramp here, right here in Falmouth Harbor, what's really nice about it, and in terms of what you're gonna be able to access, you're gonna be able to access Nantucket Sound. You have straight shot right across the Martha's Vineyard uh, on a really nice day, boom, in you know 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, you're right at Martha's Vineyard. Really nice, so you can access uh, middle ground, a uh, lot of the waters in the vineyard. Um, this is a boat ramp that I use to access Woods Hole. Uh, really nice little short run down to Knobsco Point. Um, you can also access the Elizabeth Islands. If you want to head east, you know, you've got the uh, Walk Hoyt area, you've got Poppinesset. So this boat ramp really does a nice job of putting you in a, in a centralized location to access some of the best fishing spots um, at the Falmouth, uh, or we'll say Upper Cape, Nantucket, Vineyard Sound area of Cape Cod. One of the best things about this ramp is that it really is not affected by tides whatsoever. You can launch at any stage of the tide, whether it's a moon tide or a regular tide, so no problems when considering the tide that you have to launch into. One of the things that you always want to consider about in the boat ramp is parking, and this boat ramp really does have a substantial amount of parking. It's, it's a good area, to uh, good parking lot easy to pull your trailer into. A little bit of a challenge for people with really, really exceptionally long trailers, a lot of the triple axles. You probably, sometimes they have people actually pull over the curb so they can get their trailer in and not block in and out. Um, it also has another little nice feature, which is um, you can kind of, there's a, I guess you call it a U-turn when you pull in, you pull up into the parking lot. Um, one of the challenges here is the fact that it doesn't have a great staging area and so a lot of times you'll face situations where people are launching, people are pulling and it kind of gets a little, a little tricky at times. Uh, one of the problems with parking is that you really don't have any sense of organization. You don't have a, um, you only really have one float uh, that's really set for this, although you do have a secondary float um, that a lot of people don't even really use or know about. Um, so, you know, when it comes to parking, a little bit tricky. If everybody kind of keeps their heads about them and communicate, uh, it, it, it works out. Weekends really fill up real quick, especially during the busy season. One of the challenges for folks who aren't familiar with uh, launching their boats here on Cape Cod, or even if you are, is the fact that in Falmouth Harbor is a good example. This is supposed to be a two boat launch where you're supposed to be able to launch two boats simultaneously. The challenge is, unless you have two people who really know what they're doing, the ramps are probably just a minimal requirement. And honestly, for smaller boats, it might work. For larger boats, it definitely doesn't work. Uh, the other challenge on Falmouth Harbor is the fact that you're gonna need really long dock lines uh, if you're gonna launch the boat just by pulling it off the trailer or floating it off the trailer. Uh, you've got a couple of pilings down there and you've got to be able to flip them over the pilings and that can be a bit of a challenge. And remember, make sure that you notice in each town whether or not they allow you to power load or not. A lot of boat ramps in a lot of towns on Cape Cod, they don't allow you to lose your, use your engine to put your boat back on the trailer and even in a lot of cases to take the boat off the trailer.